Oh, Bubs, are you ready to be a part of our reaction? <laughs> Welcome, Welcome back, back pop stars. stars. I'm Rizzo. I'm Benji. And we are still celebrating the 4th of July by watching Legally Blonde 2, Red, White, and Blonde. I've seen this movie a handful of times. I always enjoy it. Obviously, it's not the same like hit factor as the first one, but I love the continuation of the story. I mean, it makes me want a hot dog real bad. It's the only line I know from that movie. It's, it's the only line think, most people know. I was about to say, I think that's the only line anybody knows. If you've been enjoying these, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. And if you want to support us, you can follow us on Patreon where we have the full reaction to videos like this, as well as exclusive reactions this month. What are we watching, Benji? We're watching Young Royals, and you know what? It is pretty steamy. Actually, it's really good. <laughs> and sweat cut. Three, two, one, one engage. engage. <laughs> Sunset. No. <laughs> Already, it's not as iconic. Shh, we don't know. Definitely doesn't really hold a candle up to Hoku, <laughs> does it? They needed to have Hoku write another song for this. That's always what's hard about these films. When you have like a soundtrack that really pops the first time, mm -hmm. how are you supposed to follow that up? <gasps> the bend and snap. Oh. Who took that photo? I hate that. Obviously the cameraman. Oh, that's yeah. one of my pet peeves in movies, especially sequels. They'll be like, ah, look at this photo of grandpa. This studio produced photo you of grandpa. Had, uh, you didn't always have eyes on everybody in that scene. Somebody could have easily snapped a picture. At the any bend point. and snap? At any point. <laughs> there she is with Congresswoman Rudd. That's when they started the Harvard Alumni Women's Event. That's two kick-ass women. Isn't she a villain? What? No. I had no. Oh, the first day they met. Who took that photo? That's from the scene. That's from the scene where Obviously, they met each there other. Were people in the courtyard that oh, took yeah. pictures of oh. them. Oh, it's an Amy. Amy. The, <laughs> she was like, I had to make up for not knowing you broke up with somebody. Margo, Serena, I cannot believe you guys flew all the way here. So where does she live now? Washington or something? No, 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 she goes to Washington. That's what it should have been called. Legally Blonde goes to Washington. <laughs> and then the third one can be Legally Blonde in space. Yeah. Not your Delta New Ring L. Oh, you mean this one? <gasps> oh! <laughs> I don't know how to explain it, but there's a lot of sequels like this where you can just, it, it instantly comes to a halt. Mm. Case in point. Fucking Miss Congeniality too. Armed and sexy. I don't remember. It was stupid. The only redeeming value about that was Regina King. And groin. Not the groin! Which I thought I just saw her name in this. We're getting married at Fenway. Are you serious? I'm getting married under the green monster! <laughs> he was about to really remind me of his brother there. There's something the way they kind of say their words, you know? They just kind of... No, I, well, they I, grew I'm like, up together. Yeah, it's funny really <laughs> how that works. <laughs> hey, can you bark with that? You want me to what? A biological birth parent search. <laughs> it's a stupid plot, but I like that. I like that. You want to send an invitation to your wedding. Your dog's mother. Obviously, you heard me. You literally heard me. Well, detective, if I have to make room for my second cousin's vegan diet coach, you better believe I'm gonna make room for the mother of the one living creature who's always been there for me. Aww. My second cousin's diet coach is not getting an invite to my wedding. I'd be like, either him or you, decide. <laughs> second cousin, <laughs> you're lucky to be getting an invite <laughs> yourself. You're lucky I even know who you are. <laughs> Her outfits are on point though. They got to do that turn up. Now do me. You're not going anywhere, except where? <laughs> I was gonna say, except the metaphorical closet to wait for her to need something else from you. All right, he doesn't <laughs> exist outside of. <laughs> Bruiser Woods, <laughs> meet your mom. Wow. Oh, she's what very a, Did they put eyelashes on I her? Should, I think they did. <laughs> she's a Bostonian. <gasps> Borky. <laughs> no, what's a Boston? Act? Hey, it's me. It's Barky Wahlberg. Bark Wahlberg. And Bark Wahlberg. <laughs> say hi to your mother for me, okay? Oh, Bruiser. Your mother lives at the top secret Versace think tank. I told you they had one. No, ma'am. That what? I Yo, she really was. She just was like making the rounds everywhere. That is Academy Award winner Octavia Spencer. It's just insane she was doing all these side roles. All she had to do was shit in one pie. Everybody gets there somehow. Eat my shit. You come here. 
These animals aren't for sale, ma'am. This Versace is a cosmetic testing facility. Oh, no. And poor Bruiser's mom is a test subject there. Wait, I what? did all this research while I was waiting for you to come back. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you don't exist when I'm gone. You're I right. Do, I do when I'm doing things for you. Yeah. I'm gonna bust all those dogs out of that doggy dungeon. Bruiser Woods, Chihuahua. Who am I? Where do I come from? What do they know? Do they know things? Let's find out! <laughs> Abandoned at birth. The fucking oh <laughs> him with the hobo bundle. Fighting for survival on the mean streets of Beverly Hills. So did she like just do this now? Turning tricks at Hollywood and Vine. That seems mildly racist. <laughs> Yet even when I found a loving mother, I couldn't shake this nagging emptiness in my heart. So she's in the same clothes. Oh, she shit. had these already. Or she just knows how to bust out a photo shoot <laughs> in like five minutes flat. She was like, all right, guys, lunch break, you're getting to work. <laughs> how come you don't do photo shoots? He does. You Pictures here. <laughs> what we fight for is our clients and their best interests. What you're saying is if Saint Manifique follows the letter of the law, even if it ends up hurting living beings, we're just doing our job? I just don't think I can work with people who believe that. Shit. You're right. You're fired? Thank you, Mr. Blaine. You shouldn't have to work with people who believe that. Absolutely, I knew you would understand. You're fired. You're fired, Adele. Fuck! I'm all he has to speak for him in this world, and I have completely failed him. Don't worry, you're blind. Legally. You'll get there. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute! You can't come in here! You're illegally blonde! Yeah! Legally Blonde 4. No, that's supposed to be the third one. No, 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 because the third one was Legally Blonde. In space. Oh, right. <laughs> Damn it. How did I forget my own <laughs> trilogy you know, of films? Times. They're shot back to back, though. It was like a Fast and the Furious it's thing. It's basically two Too blondes. legal, too blonde. Yeah. This is the cinematic universe I want. I want action heroes to have to go to an attorney, and their attorney is L fucking Woods. There you go. How about that? It revolves. And it illuminates. Wow, it's even got the Red Sox colors. That's fantastic, honey. Thanks. Oh, that's really cool. <laughs> She's got too much time on her hands. Way too much time. Since you have a full-time job as a lawyer. <laughs> Apparently her and Saul Goodman just like, they got nothing better to so do much time. than fuck around. I guess maybe lawyers don't have a lot to do during this. Is that day. true? Hey, the lawyer pop stars in our audience, let <laughs> us know. How many hobbies do you have? <laughs> what do you do all day? Because it's clearly not lawyering. <laughs> If the law is what's keeping Bruiser's mother locked up, I shouldn't be fighting it, I should be changing it. I'm gonna make animal testing for cosmetics illegal. DC, here I come! Oh my god, you look like the 4th of July. It makes, makes me, me want a hot dog, dog real bad. bad. <laughs> is that the only line? Anytime anybody's doing a Jennifer Coolidge impression, it's that line. You look, you look like, like the 4th of, of July. July. <laughs> it makes me want a hot dog real bad. Isn't planning the wedding of the century and changing the law kind of hard? I taught Bruiser how to shop online. I think I can handle Congress. Wait, I would love to see Bruiser what? shop online. <laughs> Films like this or like Disney Channel, they always have those throwaway lines that I'm like, is that actually in canon? Hold on. I a need second. to know. We have a you just said something dog. <laughs> wildly uh, in improbable. <laughs> and legally blonde in space, the ship's about to crash, and the only way they can save it is for Bruiser back down on Earth. <laughs> to Who's use still the alive and save him. Exactly. <laughs> I think he could. He's a very well trained dog. Oh, this is the cover outfit. Hey, that's the outfit from the cover. <laughs> yeah. Wait, are there no women in that? There's someone. There's there. women. This everybody's wearing black. Gross. Elle Wood. Oh my God. Bud Hire taking up a Regina King. I knew it. I love Regina King, and I'm glad that she's moved past this second outshining. Yeah, that. outshining everybody, even though she's the secondary character mm -hmm. in a movie. Hello, Patriots. Intern orientation is down the hall, hon. Don't talk down to me. <laughs> They're <laughs> acting like they've never seen a woman or the color pink before in their goddamn lives. That is a lot of outfit. <laughs> Honestly, like, it's, it's you... presidential Jackie Onassis. They've seen the outfit before. Yeah, but that was- If she came in a Ronald McDonald costume, <laughs> I'd understand. But that was Jackie O. She's a rando to that. <laughs> now back her up, people. Yeah, she's the villain in this, right? Mm hmm. I don't know. You do know. And don't pretend. 
I'm watching you, Aunt May. I was invited to John McCain's nephew's wedding. Oh, that's a relevant name. I think. Yeah. Is it difficult for you to breathe with your mouth flat against your employer's butt? I don't know, Grace. Is it difficult to see with your head in the minority whip's lap? Gather ye round, friends and foes together. <laughs> Instead of blowing <laughs> up, we'll find harmony and love in the snap cup. Don't tell me you don't know what a snap cup is. And we could have solved racism if we had just had a snap cup. We could have solved a lot of things if Olive Woods was. We don't around. like um, being treated like shit. Oh! Now that you mention it, snaps for being honest. The snap cup is essential to any bipartisan environment. <laughs> it's scented. <laughs> of course it is. The Delta News partnered with the Kappa Kappa Gammas on Project Kissing Booth. Kissing Booth? Netflix's Kissing Booth? It all it's comes a, back around. Okay, okay, so she kisses someone that she's not supposed to, so then she gets arrested. <laughs> right. And lo and behold, <laughs> in comes Elle Woods to bail her out of jail. Legally that Blonde presents Kissing Booth 4. Oh, that's nice. Kiss Kissing Booth 4 is Legally Blonde 5. 5 at this point. <laughs> God damn, I don't even know anymore. 3 is space. We gotta end with 9 like Fast and the Furious. Got it. Ooh, good, I got mine. Grace always has the confidence to speak her mind. Plus, she looks terrific in charcoal. <laughs> I feel like the only thing Grace wears is charcoal. That's okay. She looks good in it. Right. It's gonna be bad. It's gonna break your spirit. Okay. What do Elle Woods and the Snap Cup have in common? Uh-oh. Don't walk into it. They're both stupid. <laughs> that riddle could have gone a lot of places. What is this riddle <laughs> and the Snap Cup and myself have in common? <laughs> Guess we're all stupid. <laughs> right? I was expecting no. something more along the lines of what does the Snap Cup and Elle Woods have in common? They're pink and empty. <laughs> I think the Snap Cup really works. I just want to say that I am so excited about the day that I get to march up those grand capital steps and drop that very bill in the, um, oh, what's it called? Marching on the capital steps. Ow. But she's cute when she does it. The next time you consider attending a hearing over which I preside, don't. Oh. Welcome to the Wellington, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> she really like drops and real like, yeah, hard whenever things don't go her way. I mean, we know she'll bounce back up, but like, but her, like that initial like, well, this wasn't easy. You have a package. And it's always like things that you think to yourself, have you not dealt with this before? <laughs> Has nobody ever insulted you before? Obviously not. We know this because everybody likes her. Like I'm not belittling this at all because absolutely I would be an emotional wreck. Yeah. I just more think, um, maybe you shouldn't be a lawyer. If you don't like, like dealing with people who don't want to listen to you. <laughs> She's like, I mean, I kind of just fell into it. I didn't really think too much about it. Guys, the jury's like mean. <laughs> like what? They don't believe me. And my client's like guilty. <laughs> I mean, wait. <laughs> oh, shit. Elle Woods, legislative aide to Congresswoman Red. Uh, Sid, Sid Post. Uh, Norman. This was his job before he stole what, a baby. Uh, and then... Fucked off to the North Pole. Elf. Elf. <laughs> I guess I better get going. If I'm gonna pass a law, then I'm gonna have to work up some sort of plan of attack with the committee of N and Ron or whatever. <laughs> and like, and her, <laughs> the, how she just casually says the most impossible thing. She's like the type of person who goes, move to Los Angeles, check, meet, Every star in the world, <laughs> check. Be a multi-billionaire in two weeks with five franchise tentpole movies, check. Like, ah, uh, there's, there's a lot, a lot of, of steps. There's a lot of stuff in between. She's like, that's not the, the, I'm a big picture person and we fumble through the rest until we ah, get there. Ah, damn. I'm just a pill, yes, I'm a pill. And I'm sitting here on Capitol Hill. Yeah, Schoolhouse Rock, yo. <laughs> she has books. Why does this surprise me? Oh my God, more montages. <laughs> Legally <laughs> Blonde, everything's just a montage. <laughs> Is she cosplaying Daphne right now? That's so far at least favorite look. I thought it was cute. The fedora just, I don't know many people who can pull that off. I didn't hate it. Which brings me to my demographic breakdown turn. Wait, there's Trump hats in the background? Definitely not. But I'm not even done with my presentation. Let's make it the second one in November and the line starts down there. No intrusions, Bridgerton. But wait, I won't even be here in November. Oh, wait, I thought I could just waltz my way to the front of the line. I thought I could just show up and change the law. There's a line, L. It's pop-up. 
This is Washington politics, not warm fuzzies and kissing booths. Kissing booth. <laughs> Legally blonde <laughs> six. <laughs> Didn't realize this is the crossover we needed. <laughs> Don't you just love a salon day? Super cute look. Yes, so peaceful and quiet. Makes it so much easier to talk that way. <laughs> I think I heard quite enough of your politics. It's a committee meeting, thank you very much. She's like mad that she can't ambush somebody <laughs> off the clock. When was the last time you wore your yellow tea rose? On the night of my initiation. And wasn't the passing of the secret scented eternal flame of the goddess Delta Nu not the most moving experience? <laughs> Especially the part where we sip, sip from the secret pink chalice of sisterhood. <laughs> you know, if you so said that kind of any different way, it could sound super creepy. <laughs> yeah. We sip from the pink chalice of sisterhood. I'd be like, I'd be creeped out if the chalice wasn't pink. I trust it. <laughs> Delta who? Delta Nu! Delta, Delta, Boogaloo! Libby Hauser, Texas. <laughs> Texas. Hey, I'm here to speak for those who can't speak for themselves. <gasps> Is that the biggest ass you've ever seen? I'm not sure I followed all that, but you got my attention. But like... <laughs> You weren't gonna listen to me at all until we were sorority oh, sisters. Hell no. <laughs> so shady. Uh oh. I mean, daddy, am I right? <gasps> He's gay! Bruiser, what shoes are these? <laughs> Let's see some products! <laughs> Gay! Aw, oh, Rowdies are so cute. You know, I would be okay with this if they didn't push the agenda on dogs. It's fine to love whoever you want, but like, why do they need to be, it doesn't need to be dogs. It doesn't need, it doesn't need to be dogs. It's unnatural. Oh, it's unnatural. Homosexuality is not, yeah. Homosexuality is not found in nature and we know this. <laughs> Except for all the gay animals here. You know, a, an honest voice is, is louder than a crowd's. I don't think that's true. I was about to say. <laughs> Bruiser? Please tell me he's okay. What's wrong with Leslie? They're fucking! Now, but your Rottweiler has been humping your little dog. What year is it? It's 2004. It Look, I know we're not progressive for gay people, but like, we've been watching animals hump each other for years. Yeah, I'm like, animals hump indiscriminately. Like, just split them up. The canines are both male. Elle, you from LA. You should get this already. Your dogs are gay. <laughs> gay. Gay, 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 so gay. <laughs> Stanford Marks, by the way, you can call me Stan. As in the Southern Conservative NRA spokesman, Alabama Republican Stanford Marks? <laughs> pleasure to make your acquaintance, young lady. Uh, no, Congressman. The pleasure is all mine. Okay. Rita, could you be a pal and just tell me what I'm doing a week from tomorrow? It's a super cute outfit. And by the way, that outfit looks fantastic on you. It really brings out the color in your eyes. <sighs> No. No. 10 o'clock, rehearse hearing speech. 11 o'clock, commerce committee hearing. 5 o'clock, solve world hunger. Tell no one. 12 o'clock, exfoliating treatment. Yeah, you can go back to that one at 11. What was that? 11 o'clock, commerce committee hearing. Suck it! <laughs> oh my god! I'm just here to remind you I'm in the story. Hello, I'm not doing anything, but I'll be a villain at the end of this. Okay, bye! <laughs> I guess I will see you at the hopper. <laughs> Love it. Her outfits are really good in this movie, Ooh. outside of the one fedora fiasco. Oh. The fedora faux pas. The only thing I would hold against it is that it was purple. I'm not a big fan. But... Ask not what your best friend can do for man, but what you can do for man's best friend. It looks like you can sleep your way to the top. Now it wasn't Elle, but she got her dog to do the dirty work. We're gonna put him in a little skirt and we're just gonna prance right on by this guy's dog. Get him, come on, get him. We knew what we were doing. Entrapment, honey <laughs> trap, Bruiser's a honey trapper. I saw an item at a pet store with the label, this product is tested on humans. Now that's a problem worth discussing. <laughs> <laughs> we have an already unstable local economies across the country. Now, that's a problem worth discussing. Welcome to Washington. Don't think like them. Think like you. Thanks. Just good advice. She's gonna regret that when she's revealed to be the villain. <laughs> of course I appreciate your support. Why wouldn't it continue? Ah. Well, well, well. All right. Sally. 
Hang on. Hang in there. Sally is in, is Sally Fields. I have nothing. I have no joke. Looks like Sally is trying to steal the vote. That's terrible. That's close. Sally's gonna shield them from voting for Bruiser's bill. Maybe. Sally's Um, gotta feel this one out. That's before she makes a mistake. <laughs> that one's better, but not much. Sally's a real jerk right now for switching her position. Sally, real. I was rhyming with real. Oh. Jerk. Sally's real. Shitty for that. Okay, we can stop this. Sally. Please don't. She'll <laughs> keep fuck it up. Oh, someone in the comments is going crazy oh. right now. Why is she in black? Lip gloss looks absolutely sensational on you. What you know about me? What you what you know about me? I, I'm sorry. What? Nobody's ever complimented me in years. <laughs> what if I told you that you owe that special balance in your step to the pain and suffering of innocent animals? I eat burgers every day, L. But cows are innocent. What did they do? They know what they did. What? <laughs> the orphans. They're all dead. What kind of man would do this? Skateboards. Mr. Bruiser Woods! Bruiser. I don't know if he likes his name because he seems to bark every time she says it. He's like, no, that's not my name. My name is Bruiser. Bork. Hunter <laughs> Fuchs, the next time that you reach for your overnight moisturizing gloves, by the way, it's nothing to be ashamed about. More men should use them. Whoa, 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 whoa. I just use it for masturbation. Wait, that's that wasn't- worse. <laughs> Are you willing to sacrifice animal welfare? Yes. Or how about just say the welfare of one animal, like jelly? Your childhood pal? What? She's getting personal. She's getting down in the dirt. You, uh, know about Jelly? Who was it that was always your Tonto? How did she have this much information? Jelly Billy. Is she <laughs> Santa Claus? <laughs> <laughs> you broke my heart, Jelly. You broke my heart. This is like the Santa Claus 2 where he gives everyone the personalized yeah, gifts. Yeah. Except creepier? This seems creepier. Yeah, because it's not Santa. Mr. Chairman, when you look in those snap-worthy almond eyes of your Rottweiler Leslie, does it not make your heart glow with warmth? Uh, oh, due respect, Miss Woods, I wouldn't go that far. Wait, he named his Rottweiler Leslie, <laughs> and he's shocked that Leslie's a... Homo. <laughs> Interesting. If you could speak for Leslie, what would you say? Dad, I'm gay. <laughs> no, son, I'm gay, and I love you. What would Leslie want you to say for him, Mr. Chairman? <laughs> <laughs> She's still crying. <laughs> hey, do you need a moment? Oh, to hell with it. My Rottweiler less is of the homosexual orientation. <laughs> there, I've said it. I'm out. Doesn't necessarily feel like this should be worthy of C-SPAN's time, but okay. This is amazing. I couldn't be prouder of the little flame. <laughs> I would love to see a conservative NRA spokesperson go, my dog's a homosexual and I love that little flamer. <laughs> I'd be like, it's a start. Just one long stare into that sweet sissy dog's eyes and I know no cosmetic could ever be worth it. That sissy dog's eyes. Uh, but thank you. Yeah, we're gonna work on the terminology. We'll, but we'll, we'll start work through it, but you know what? We're getting somewhere. We'll start with the acceptance. <laughs> Pull yourself together, woman. I'm down. Get a hug. She's gonna be crying for the rest of the week. They're like, this is why we don't let women in, in yeah, Washington. The tears. What is the tears? Too many tears. Probably that time tears? of the month. I feel I must withdraw my support for Bruiser's bill. What? I can with the Shit. I didn't see that coming at all. Where did that even come from? What a surprise. It came way out of left Sally Field. Okay. It came, it said, you know, it was out of left field, out of left Sally Field. The field was Sally. Build it and she'll come. Work on the it. The Sally Field of Dreams. It'll get better. Okay. You were outmaneuvered by Grace. That's all just deals and trades and secrets. That's not what people want. Why are you in politics? We need more Elle Woods is in politics, especially right now. Yeah. That's Legally Blonde 7. 
the depressing one. <laughs> this serious, really political one that people are like, Jesus. What's in the fucking box? It's my double platinum VVIP Versace preferred customer identification card, of course. Available only to those of us who shopped on at least five continents. <laughs> Is that a woman in pink? <laughs> a woman huh. in Washington? Huh. So what's your story? Were you even honest? He was gay. That's what people think. Wait, really? I guess you were. It's a rumor. Go on. It's full of warm fuzzies. Oh, what inspires us? We even put little hearts over the eyes. <laughs> I wonder who wrote that one. That's my idea. We have a plan. Two words for you. Murder. Discharge petition. Oh. A couple hundred signatures, we can spring Bruiser's bill from committee straight to the House floor for a vote. Bet. You've come farther than any of us while maintaining your balance and sparkle. We never sparkle. We're just boring politicians. Just bland, wearing black politicians. We never even knew what sex or how pretty or pink was. We didn't even have a morning routine. We just take coffee and shove it up our butts in the morning. If you actually go to Washington, there's little trails of coffee grounds everywhere <laughs> from all the people. <laughs> Copy up their butt in the morning. <laughs> well, that's a visual I didn't think. No, you're not putting those in my butt. I've Just... been once, that is true. And you can't prove me wrong. <laughs> Where's my staff? They quit without notice. There's a lot of ups and downs in this movie, also. Yeah. <laughs> and I will applaud it for not copy pasting the, yeah. the plot of the first movie. There's enough elements of the first one. I really just think at the end of the day, it was cultural zeitgeist. Mm -hmm. I think the first one hit. But it's pink and scented. Yeah, it gives it a little something extra, don't you think? Bad. <laughs> <laughs> he went full in. He was like, my dog's gay. He's my like, dog's gay. Guess what? My dog's gay. I'm a far right liberal. Is that right? A liberal is left, conservatives are right but it's all fucked right now. Are you so. sure about that? Because you didn't seem sure No, I am sure. Ago. So liberals are left. That's how we remember. That's how you'll remember, yes. You can't do this alone. That's why I'm calling in reinforcements. Vin Diesel drives in. Looks like you need family. <laughs> Fast and furious family. Legally blonde eight. Legally blonde L meets the family. <laughs> I don't under, I didn't understand a one word you said. Wait a second. You tell that Bruiser Woods he can count on the Sunshine State. So what happens if ha afterwards they say, I don't want it. I don't want to support your bill. Like, well, you're getting your, your hair stapled back to your head. Shave it. Thank you, Atlanta. Thank you, Atlanta. You're next. You're next. I'm going to make you pretty. Intern class of 2003 on deck. I don't think you can do this. I mean, we had a whole group of people storm the Capitol. I think this is... Very possible. <laughs> There's so much that's happening in this scene that I'm uncomfortable with. First and foremost, why is her face just like a red pancake? She got a sunburn. What is happening? You guys still have to work here after this. They get to go home. <laughs> yeah, Larry, is that what you like? You want him to get on all fours for you, Larry? You into that? You gay? The bad news is... Rena. I'm the bad news? Wait. Rena. <laughs> I'm the bad <laughs> news! You, you look amazing. Cute. Oh, it's just layers and highlights and a cellulose finishing rinse. <laughs> I did it. I don't want to discredit because she looked beautiful the entire time. It doesn't look like much different. They pulled her hair back, obviously, because her hair looks sexy. She looks sexy with her hair pushed back. back. Yeah, we lost Hannah and Feld, and I just was wondering if Grace knew anything about it. What outfit is this? Is this her, like, I'm a little defeated outfit? It's just her casual, we've been working hard, I'm throwing a jacket and go talk to this girl. You did it, Al.
You won. Say Manifique is releasing all of their test animals. Oh, she's gonna dangle a little cracker in front of her face. A little, little carrot on a cracker. And this isn't about just one animal, it's about all of the animals. I agree. Say Manifique wants you up there by Monday. My name might be L, but I'm not gonna take an L on this one. No. We have to stick together, us. Washington Blondes. Shut up! Oh, do you happen to know who Representative Hannenfeld had lunch with today in the members' dining room? I skipped lunch today. Had a facial. Drake Hotel, Chicago. Oh. oh, okay. Shady, shady, shady. Homeowners incentives? I wouldn't touch that bill. It's a tax break for the wealthy. Look, Victoria has a live interview with Connie Chung in an hour. She's in makeup right now. Mm. She's in makeup? Doesn't she have a beautiful complexion? <laughs> She's like a PSA for SPF. <laughs> Every woman knows that a good facial can be a painful experience if done properly. Uh. Likely to result in red blotchy areas all over your skin. And isn't it the first rule of facials that there's a 24-hour window between a facial and any major occasion, such as, say, a date or a dance or maybe an interview with Mrs. Mori Povich? These people need to stop doing illegal shit and with, like, cosmetic <laughs> stuff. <laughs> you gotta watch that one. I don't think that's a rule that the most well-groomed woman in Washington would easily forget. Yet. You've been lobbying against us all this time, haven't you? Zach <gasps> uh <-huh>. Yes, <laughs> I did it. <laughs> I killed Bruiser's Bill. And I killed Sparky, too. <laughs> and I want to know why. Why? Yes, why? Why does anything ever happen in Washington? Survival. Many. You have no idea what it takes to get here Racism, to stay here. Misogyny. The money it takes. Take your pick. Take, yeah, I was gonna say, it's dealer's choice here. Which one do you want today? I can't do anyone any good if I'm no longer here. But you're not doing anybody any good. Sally feels kind of hot. Nobody in your district, not even yourself. Do I? What? No, I'm. I'm Sally feeling it. And May, and May, is that an angel? No. Okay, it's not better than any of the shit you came up with. Yeah, but I'm not gonna let you have any good ones. I do believe in the people, and I'm gonna take Bruiser's Bill to them. It'll never work, Elle. You can't get the people to care. Watch me. Watch me. That might be where I got that from. Watch me. I say that all the time. You do. Wait. Who was recording? Delta New President, Chapter 2 6, 623 fifth from the top, calling to activate phone tree number 255. Is that the murder protocol? No! No! Gosh, that Italian family at the next table sure is quiet. Hi, Pinky, it's Nikki. Hi, Jill, it's JoJo. Hi, Allison, it's Cookie. You will never believe what happened. Elle just called and she needs- That's progressive. They let someone trans into the sorority. We appreciate that. Is that a <laughs> positive way to spin that? Okay, see you in Washington. This movie takes a few steps forward and then a few steps and back. Then, and then it just kind of like shimmies a little bit. It dances. It dances around the line. <laughs> yes, Dog March. Aww. Yes. Damn it. Samuel J. Sonny! I just <laughs> got a little bit of pride. He, he went there. All in. That's why this is part of Benji's Big Game Weekend. Oh, good boy. Yes, he's back. Save Bruce's mom. Save Bruce's mom. Save Bruce's mom. Save mom. Are you going to save the Bill Widow Bubba's? <laughs> There's just no time for politicking. Sorry, I only tried. I mean, there's gotta be like a valiant effort thing, right? Like a, hey. a participation award for politics. Come on, it's like, hey, you got 206 signatures out of 215. That's pretty great. We'll push it through. I don't think that's how politics Good works. Job. Look, L, you may be above blackmail, but I'm not. I am black male. Well, I'm a, I'm black female. <laughs> I'm a black female who's gonna do some black male. So why are you helping me? That's how politics works. Once upon a time, I loved politics, and I want to do some good. And now, don't even think. Of it. <laughs> and now, I give you Ms. L. Woods. See, one day I came to Washington to help my dog Bruiser, and somewhere along the way, I learned a really unexpected lesson. Bribery will get you everywhere in this town. This is about a matter that should be of the highest importance to every American. My face. My hair. 
Ah, there it is. You see, there's a salon in Beverly Hills. Oh, women things. <laughs> you lost me. The last time I let a woman in Washington, right? Especially a blonde one. The colorist gave me Brassy Brigitte instead of Harlow Honey. The shampoo girl washed my hair with Spiral Perm Solution instead of color intensive moisturizing conditioning shampoo. Where is this? Where are we going with this? She'll get there. She has a point, she promises. Gave me a pop <laughs> with bangs. This wasn't the salon's fault. I had sat there and witnessed this injustice and I just let it happen. <laughs> I didn't get involved in the process. Oh, well, she's coming back around. I forgot to use my voice. I mean, if anyone who's ever been getting a bad haircut at a salon knows, it is a little scary to be like, can you, excuse me, can you I'm, please I'm, fucking stop everything do, you're doing? Um, what, am I doing it wrong? Well, are you gonna say everything that I did was wrong? No, I just, you know, <laughs> if you could just kind of like, you know, not cut it horribly, you know, act like this is your actual job. <laughs> it's them stabbing me. Stabbing it's you in the head. head. That's why I, I never risk telling them. Right, because it could end in murder. <laughs> if we lose our voice, then this country is in for a really bad haircut. <laughs> Speak up, America. Speak up! Speak up for the home of the brave. Speak up for the land of the free gift with purchase. And remember, you are beautiful. No matter what they say. You are beautiful, Sonny. You I'm stupid little, little... Little limp hot dog. Little, little tongue ass out. Sleeping little fucker. Al got the 218 signatures she needed. But was it a perfect day? You can't just do that. I know, right? You gotta get them. Right, so they go from being tested to being homeless. No! They hand delivered Bruiser's mom. He's like, all right, we're done torturing you. Aw, you're so cute. Oh, she's she wearing got her hot dog. And she's wearing the exact same outfit. <laughs> that, <laughs> that's her character arc? I mean, she's already done everything else. But did they get that legally? But he delivered it, so. This just in! Someone stole <laughs> Fenway Park's home base! Congresswoman Libby Hauser finished decorating her house. I don't think this is gonna happen in, ha in Washington. Who knows? Elle has not gone there. Snaps for Congresswoman Hauser! Yeah, I don't. Yeah. Yeah. Have you showed up in a pink Jackie O outfit? I guess no. I guess no. I haven't <laughs> completely upended <laughs> systematic issues <laughs> with a hot pink outfit. Fuck me, right? <laughs> yes. Wow. He's just. He's just all in now. Okay, now that we're married, where do you want to live? Beverly Hills, Boston, Washington? Space! I think then you're just the place. Yeah. We're going to space! Yeah. It's gonna be legally blonde in space. Oh, <laughs> legally blonde in the White House. Legally blonde nine, the pink house. Yeah! Oh, well that makes sense because <laughs> she's the president and then they have to send her to space, thus legally blonde in space. Right, okay. And that concludes our broadcast day. I just think it's really wholesome and aspirational. It reminds us that we can do anything with a little bit of pink <laughs> and a few snaps. So for any of you trying to get into politics, just remember, wear some pink, speak your mind, and things will go your way. All of our ways. Yeah. Things will go our way. I liked it. It was it was a sweet film. It was fun. Um, it tried its own thing. I was actually very impressed with the fact that it didn't just rinse repeat. Yeah. Even though that is something Elle is good at. But the script itself was surprisingly fresh mm -hmm. in a lot of ways. I think it was a good next step. Like it was. Why don't you it think it popped off then? A little bit. I don't know. Maybe I mean you were completely out in the opening. Maybe it was literally just that. People just <laughs> left the theater. They said no Hoku, no me. <laughs> If you have some inside scoop as to why this one just didn't pop off, let us know in the comments. I'd love to read all that. Also, remember if you enjoyed this reaction and you felt like you were watching this with a couple of your friends and you were commenting along, hit that like button because we appreciate the support. Yeah. Also, speaking of support, if you can check out our Patreon because we have extra content there for you. We have the full reaction to this as well as bonus reactions. Right now we're watching Young Royals. Until then, I'm Rizzo. I'm Benji. Who's this? And this is Sunny. And uh, Sweet Dreams Pop Stars. Keep watching. A big thanks to our current patrons. Oh! <laughs>
I keep wanting to say True Love's Kiss. I was like, I, it's very, I mean, it's yeah, it's super similar. Very to similar to LSD. True Love's Kiss. <laughs>